Don't know me. Know how I earn a living. <laughs> Here we go. The moment we've been waiting for, we're going to put on some gel coat. And what I'm using here is the only thing that I could really find. I searched for a cheaper alternative, but it's just the Total Boat gel coat. Uh, it's the white and it contains the wax. Uh, it has the catalyst, which it needs to create the hardening. So something that I learned through mistake is if you get the one without the wax, it dries tacky. It won't dry hard. So you need to create some kind of uh, thing to cover the atmosphere like a wax paper or a PVC or something um, to um, get it to harden uh, or you can use it it's uh, used also for laminate like if you were to make a mold you know you'd paint the inside of your mold put your fiberglass down and the fiberglass would basically cure it right so if you're just gonna do a, a final coat this is what you want to use um, so prep uh, I have sanded this entire thing uh, really well, uh, and then I've cleaned it really well using acetone. Uh, you want to use 100% acetone, and just make sure that it's clean as possible. Uh, and hopefully free from debris, because I'm doing this outside, under a tree. Let's see if I can actually uh, do a good job here without uh, getting stuff stuck in, into it. Now, the, um, the mix on the instructions, um, this is called uh, MEKP, which I'm not going to try to pronounce, it's short for something. Um, the catalyst at 77 degrees requires 2% by volume. Well, it's warmer than 77 degrees, but uh, we'll say it's about 77 degrees. Uh, it needs 14 to 16 drops per ounce or 2 teaspoons per pint. So this is uh, one quart. So got quite a bit in there I'm going to do um, probably two ounces at a time just because I haven't used this before and I'm afraid of ruining it and I've seen other people use small mixing cups to um, do a section at a time so I'll probably do that because this stuff is like 40 bucks a can or 40 bucks a quart uh, it's like 115 I think or 125 something like that a gallon this stuff's expensive so don't want to mess this up and it gives you a working time with that mixture that I was talking about of 10 to 15 minutes. So that's why you want to do small batches at a time because like, I, I don't know, you know, uh, I don't think I could do this whole thing in 10 to 15 minutes. I'm just going to use a roller um, and I do have some paint brushes. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, all right, so two ounces I figured was right to about the bottom of this cup. So one, so we get our mix going real good. I feel like this pint or this quart is not enough. Here's my result. Not too bad. <laughs> Not really great. That free just kept popping through. So that sucks. I sanded that too. I don't know what that is. There must have something in it. I cleaned it with acetone. It still popped through. Um, so it looks 
all right from a distance it's a monade right i didn't do the uh the tunnel because uh hey nobody looks at that and i didn't have enough paint uh, my main concern was getting the uh, two coats on the patches which i did and trying to get the color change as to white as i could um you can see the mc numbers a little bit i mean this thing really could use another coat of paint it's it's rough i mean i didn't sand it good it looks pretty bad but honestly i mean this is free okay i'm just trying to get in the water um i mean look at the the main part i guess that's important is the uh the catamaran uh hull I mean, that looks pretty decent. I don't have any more spider tracks. It is a lot whiter than it was because it used to be kind of yellowy. Um, it's not too bad. Now I just got to figure out a motor for it. Um, I want a gas motor. I'm thinking a 9.9 .9 or a 15. Uh, I was going to do controls, but I, I don't know at this point. We'll see. I. I don't know how fancy I want to get with this and how much money I want to put into this thing. So, all right. Well, um, till the next video.